hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with wild heart game on your windows computer now the first step is to disconnect keyboard now if you have booting keyboard connected to the computer disconnect it now this has worked for many players so it might work for you so disconnect this keyboard and then launch the game that should fix the controller now still you're facing the problem then disconnect additional controller connected to the computer so if you have any additional controller connected disconnect it and then launch the game also, if you have these devices connected, so you can disconnect all the USB devices which you are not using, disconnect it, and then launch the game. Next step is to, is for Steam users, disable Steam input. Now, if you have bought the game on Steam, then go to Steam, make a right click on the game. I don't have the game on Steam. I have the game on eApp. So if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on Wild Hearts. I'm showing you with another game. This is just an example. So make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to the controller tab and then click on disable steam input. Try this, launch the game and then check if that does not work, you can enable steam input and then check and check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to, is for non steam users, add the game to steam. So if you have bought the game on e app, then you can add the game to steam. So click on add a game. On the bottom left click on this plus sign and then click on add a non steam game now in the list you can find the wild hearts exe file now if you don't see the exe file over here in that case click on browse go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed open the game folder select this exe file now click on open now, once the game is added over here, selected over here, click on add selected program. Now, once the game is added over here, now launch the game and then you can check the controller. Next step is to, now in case if you don't have the Steam ins installed, in that case, you can install the Steam from Steam website. So, you can go to Steam website and you can download install steam and then login and then launch the game add the game to steam and then launch the game next step is for non steam users add e app to steam and then launch e app and then launch the game for this similarly uh, you can click on this plus sign and then click on add a non steam game and then you can select the e app from the list or you can click on browse and then go to the ea folder so wherever the game is installed, where the, wherever the EA app is installed, you can select the EA app select the EA app and then click on open. Once this is added, now click on add selected program. Now once the EA app is added, now launch EA app and then launch the game from EA app. Next step is, next step is to configure the controller if you bought the game on steam then go to steam then click on settings go to controller tab and then click on general controller settings now over here if you if you're using playstation controller then put a check check on playstation configuration support so uncheck everything if you're using playstation controller put a check on playstation configuration support now if you're using xbox controller then put a check on xbox configuration once your controller is detected over here now launch the game now the next step is to launch steam in big picture mode and then launch the game this is again for steam users on the top right over here you can see big picture mode icon click on big picture mode Now go to library and then select the game. So you have to go ahead and select your game. This is just an example. I'm showing you with another game. So you can go to installed game and then click on the game and then click on play and then launch the game. 
Now the next step is for PlayStation 5 controller users. Try using REWASD or DS4 Windows software and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to is for Xbox controller user. Install Xbox Accessories app. Now for this open Microsoft Store on your computer and then install Xbox Accessories app. Now type in Xbox Accessories app then click on Xbox Accessories and if not installed, install it over here. So click on get or install and once this is installed, open Xbox Accessories app and then update your controller. So when before you update the controller, you have to connect your Xbox controller using the USB cable, type C cable you can uh, connect your controller to the computer. Please make sure that you connect your controller using the cable and once you connect the controller, then you can update your controller using the Xbox Accessories app and then you can launch the game and then check the controller. So you can open this. I have not connected my controller right now. So once you connect the controller, over here you will see three dots, click on it and then you can click on update controller. In my case, this is not connected. Now the next step is to use wired controller. So if nothing works, you can use the wired connection. You can use the wired controller and then check. So one of the steps should help you to get your controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.